Hello again, I am Blunty, and all throughout this week I've been going on and on and on about this, which is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, one of the most exciting cameras for cinematographers that has arrived on the scene in, well, at least a few months. Uh, and it is a Micro Four Thirds camera, and everything I've been showing you so far in the various tests and demos and shootouts and sample reels and all that kind of stuff has been done with native Micro Four Thirds lenses. But one of my favorite things about the Micro Four Thirds system is the, it has a very short flange mount distance, and the mount itself is very adaptable. Literally, you can put just about any lens you want on there. If there's a lens out there, there's probably some way to get it mounted and working properly on a Micro Four Thirds camera, and that makes it a very exciting system to play with. And today I'm going to show you some playtime stuff with my favorite little playtime lenses, which are these little guys, which are little C-mount lenses. These are little CCTV mount lenses, but they also make C-mount lenses for the old 16mm film cameras and uh, some industrial C-mount lenses out there. They are easy to get, wildly cheap, and surprisingly good, and heaps of fun. And I've reviewed a couple of these lenses already, which will probably be linked in the video text if you're curious about them. And another fantastic thing about the C-mount lenses is all you need to adapt them onto your camera is this little thing here, which is a very, very simple dummy lens mount, which cost me about 12 bucks, I think. So pop off the native lens, and you pop this little guy on, and boom, you've got a C-mount lens in there. So you just go, screw, 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 screw. Ha ha ha. And away you go. So I've got fully manual iris, and it is a clickless manual iris, so you can adjust it very, very finely and on the fly as you're going, which is very handy for a camera like this to do as well, and of course manual focus. Lots of fun to play around with. So I'm going to start off by showing you a little demo reel of stuff I shot with the C-mount lenses. A lot of fun, very unique aesthetic as you're going to see, but I've also got an adapter which will screw into that C-mount adapter, which will then let me mount my Canon DSLR lenses on there. So... Very, very simple. It's also a dummy adapter, so there's no automatic control of iris or anything. So again, working with a, a neutral density filter is kind of essential because uh, you can't control the aperture manually, which is a bit limiting. But you can also use it, and I'll pop the Canon lens off here. So I, I tried it with a few different Canon uh, lenses, including the Sigma 18-35. But I've also got a mount adapter, which will take my old Pentax K mount to a Canon mount, which I can then go to the Canon, to the C mount, to the C mount, to the Micro Four Thirds mount, and uh, use my... Uh, old school Pentax came out, and this lens is is really old. I mean, it's it's like 30 years old or something, I think, like that. So, uh, clickable uh, iris on this one, and manual focus, of course. So, that's enough waffling. Well, the point is, I'm trying to get at, is the Micro Four Thirds system is incredibly flexible, and you can put a bunch of different lenses on this little pocket cinema camera thing and have a bunch of fun, or get quite serious if you want to use your serious, expensive cinematic lenses as well. But for right now, I'm going to show you a little test reel I did on the C-mount lenses, uh, which I just love. I think I'll keep saying that, but go out and buy some and put some on your camera. You just, you're going to have the time of your life. They're fun. And uh, some uh, tests with some various DSLR lenses as well. So uh, check them out. And it's worth mentioning that all this footage has been graded somewhat. I've shown you more than enough untouched footage by now, I think. So this is just a simple sort of natural look of not gone nuts on these ones. I've just punched the color and contrast and saturation up a little bit. But I have left the sharpest untouched, seeing as we're looking at adapter lenses in here. I thought that was kind of important. So, the specific C-mount lenses I'm using here, just FYI, are the 25mm f1.4, a 35mm f1.7, and a 50mm f1.4, which, once you account for the Pocket Cinema Camera's crop factor, gives you a 72mm, 100mm, and 144mm full-frame field of view equivalent. Which, as it turns out, is a pretty nice set. And of course, neither the camera or the lenses have any stabilization at all. Most of these shots were taken using a monopod to help smooth out the jitter just a little bit, but retain that kind of dynamic handheld look. For the next set of shots, I was using a Canon 28mm f1.8, an old Pentax 50mm f2, uh, the Sigma 18-35 f1.8, and there's a shot or two from an old Formula 5 came out lens. It's a 28mm f2.8. I did try some telephoto range stuff, but without a big solid rig and a tripod at least, it was unusably jittery of course. So if you need to shoot telephoto stuff, my advice is to go with the native Micro Four Third lenses, specifically the Lumix ones that have in-lens stabilization systems. But the experience in general with shooting on fully manual, legacy glass and adapted DSLR lenses was very good. The Pocket Cinema Camera is basically designed to be shot manually anyway, so there's no compromises you have to make when you want to shoot with adapted glass. 
And as a matter of fact, the excellent focus peaking modes make it a complete doddle to work this way. So, good news if you want to own one of these little powerhouses and have a cupboard full of random ass glassware. It will accommodate you brilliantly. So thanks for watching, I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time. Thank you.